Hello fellow Noravians, Doc Legendary here, also known as Richie Truxello, and I'm going to show you how you can craft Muramite armor on Project Lazarus server. Alright, so many of us who start off on Project Lazarus, a really good option is to get free drops from people who drop armor and weapons behind Rubre. Another excellent option to get starting armor are these armor quests from Dronk and Montilio. Uh, I don't think the ones from Virna are worth your time, but these two here, if you're just getting started, are worth your time because it also lets you explore some of the older zones while providing you with all the visible armor slots uh, that are actually pretty powerful. And some of those armor pieces are, in fact, pretty decent. I mean, just the Lazarus boots, the level one armor, has like extended range on it and such. Uh, the ornate ones are even better. Um, you know, the ornate ones that you get from the second one, you hear, you see the stats, oh, bring those back up. See the stats on your ornate Lazarus chain coat. Um, and the ornate Lazarus chain pants, they're pretty decent for your level. You know, they'll take you well into um, your 50s um, and your 60s. But when you get to a point where you can farm uh, either Dulox Harbor or my personal favorite for getting started farming, the Crypt of Nadox, because you can swarm pull, you should really be looking at two things. One, getting a Fabled Earthshaker for those who can wield it which here you have the fabled earth shaker and it's it's not so much the stats that are great it's this proc that happens that has an aoe effect that causes between 700 and 943 damage to stuff and on a crit it's absolutely devastating especially if you're like me and you have it on three characters but today there's a lot of confusion about how to make muramite armor and muramite armor is the next logical step up and so just to kind of give you an idea, here is Harlan's Chainmail of Fury and the legs for the Berserker here. And they're quite a bit step up in stats here with your AC and your stats. It has some shielding on it, which is really important. It has Cleave 2, which increases your chance of uh, getting a critical hit. And so this is really a, an excellent step to take as you start to level your team from 65 to 70, having all your dudes equipped with Muramite armor. You could also pick up some, uh, some Omens of War drops from the Bazaar, kind of piecemeal, but you may not have the Platinum necessarily do that, and the availability may not be there. So today I'm going to show you how to smith the Muramite armor. So let's get started. So your first step is you need to acquire the templates for each of these. And these are drops from um, name mobs. So Muramite sleeve armor I've got. I've got Muramite glove armor, Muramite helm armor, Muramite bracer armor. These drops are pretty much all the same templates for your classes. The difference is you're also going to need the appropriate either plate chain leather or cloth material to infuse and the appropriate now serene temper to pair with these all right the difference between chest armor leg armor and the rest of the slots is that they require two tempers and two of the chain plate leather or cloth um links versus one for all the other slots. So remember that when you're doing your calculations. But I'm gonna walk you through, I've got most of the templates, but I'm gonna walk you through how to find these on the bazaar, and we're gonna buy a bracer, and then I'm gonna smith all of these for you so that you can see how the process works instead of having to read up on an alakazam, because I found it very confusing um, how to do this. So first step, let's bring up the bazaar. All right, so here I am at projectlazaruseq.com. So this is the homepage here. Notice this link right here, Bizarre. So I'm going to click on the Bizarre link. I'm going to type in Muramite, M-U-R-A-M-I-T-E. Hit enter. And these are all of our templates. You can sort by price to make it easy to find stuff. 
So there's chest armor, grave armor templates for sale, which these are actually pretty good prices. Anything below 30k for these templates are pretty good. Um, sort of boot armor. But we want our bracer armor. So to find the cheapest bracer armor, I'm just going to type in bracer. And so we've got Masiko or Lumiere who's selling it for 4,500. So we'll go in there and grab one of those. The other thing that we're going to need for each of these is we need the appropriate chain items as well. Okay, so we're going to look in here and we're going to see who's selling the chain, the chain links. And so here they are, the Muramite chain links. So both Catnip and Selly are selling them and we're going to need to buy a certain amount for each piece. So right now we've got, um, per my count, we have gloves, helm, boots, and two bracers to buy for. So that's going to be a total of five chain links that I'm going to need to craft those templates. So we'll have to buy 5,000 worth of chain links there. In case you're wondering about the other items that you require, so if you're doing for cloth, you'll need the Muramite silk thread for each piece. If you're doing plate, which most of you will be doing for your tanks, your cleric, and your bards, um, Muramite metal sheets are what you want. They're usually a thousand a piece. There's the chain links I just showed you here. They're usually a thousand a piece. And then there's a leather template that I will show you. I think I just passed it. Um, Muramite leather. Where are you at? Yeah. Muramite leather padding is the one. So if you have a monk or, you know, and you want to get them in there or your, or your beast lord team, you want to get them in there. Uh, Muramite leather padding is the item that you're going to need. But we're going to go back to chain link and bracer and we're going to go buy those. So now I've shown you how to find the templates on the bazaar. Let's move on to the bazaar and buy things. So many of you are asking where the bazaar is at. It's in the back of... Plane of Knowledge, the non-AFK version, because there's now an AFK version. If you go AFK for a while, you have to port to the non-AFK version to get here. And it's right here in the back where it usually is through the store. I'll show you the map here, which is very, very busy. But if we take away all the labels and everyone else, just for example, this is where we were at. This is the bank. The bazaar is right back here in the western part of the zone. So we're going to go and zone into the bazaar here. And who am I feeling good? Let's let's buy something from Masiko because Masiko put up a really good fight in the last um, the last GM event, which I also covered, a PvP event. So we're going to search here for the Muramite Bracer Armor 4500. We will buy that. Cool. And so, what else do we need? Well, now we need to buy the chain links. And so, if I recall, it was a catnip that had the chain links. And I think catnip is over here. If you ever need to find someone in Bazaar, you can type target in their name. And it'll draw an arrow to you on the map. So, here's Trader Catnip. I just happen to know where they're at because I've bought a bunch of stuff from them in the past. And so Catnip has the silk thread, the metal sheet, the leather, plat uh, leather padding, and the chain links. And so if you remember, how many did we need? We need one for gloves, one for helm, one for boots, and two bracers. So that's a total of five chain links we'll need. So we're going to go ahead and buy five of those. Boom, we've bought five of those. So now we're ready for the next step. We need to make a trip to the Abysmal Sea, to the NPC, to both buy the Nazarene Temper and also to turn in the templates to class-specific ones. And I'll show you that right now. But first, for those of you who need a little remembrance, go to Selly, the Bizarre Concierge. She will port you back to the Plane of Knowledge or the Temple of Mar. And for Grins, we're just going to go to the tip of Lamar. Boom. So we're going to wait for this to load. We are at the Temple of Lamar. We're going to run over here to 
Clonopin, which is their ver which is uh, its version of Valium, which transports you to zones. If you hail her, remember you can get a list of all the zones that she can port you to. And at the very top, you will see Abysmal, which is for the Abysmal Sea. Now make sure you have at least 10,500 Platinum per piece that you need to infuse. So if you bought five chain links, you're going to need five uh, tempers. If you bought 10, you're going to need 10 tempers. So you can see it could get really pricey. So we'll go ahead and go to the Abysmal Sea. And I'm going to show you how to get to these NPCs to turn in your armor. All right. So here we are. We zoned in on the boat. I'm going to go down here. One level. I'm going to go down here a second level. And I'm going to turn around. We're going to go in this door right here in front of us. All right. In here are all, pretty much all the NPCs for your given classes. The except, there's a couple exceptions, they're in the room next door. But if you talk to each of these, for example, if you hail them, this is the guy who gives the cleric armor. You know, if you hail the cat here, it's like for beast lords, this is where you would turn in your templates. But we're a berserker, so we're going to go in this door here. There's a couple more NPCs in here, but also Nazarene is in here. But Halred Rage Soul is the Berserker. So if I hail him, he talks about Helm and Greaves and all that. So what I'm going to do is go to the templates that I've purchased. Okay, I've got them all in here. And I'm actually going to switch... I'm going to actually move things around here a little bit to stay organized so I can keep it all in one spot. So I'm going to hand him each piece one by one. So the sleeve armor template goes. And it comes back to me. And you notice it turns into a reworked Muramite sleeve that is class specific for Berserker. And so I'm going to do these for each of mine. Making sure that I keep them separate. Boom. So now I should have reworked Mermite pieces for my class specific uh, character. All right? So now we need to infuse these Mermite chain links in a forge, but we need the tempers to be able to do that. So we've got some platinum on us. We're going to turn around. And right here is Nazarene Twinkle Coil. And what you'll need to do, see this box right here, show only items I can use? Unclick it. And now you'll see here, Nazarene's Thick Chain Solvent, Superior Plate Solvent, Perfected Silk, and Enforced Tanning Solution. So if you're doing chain, you want the Thick Chain Solvent. If you're doing plate, you want the Superior Plate Solvent. And you need one of these solvents for each one of these plate pieces or chain links or leather paddings or silk that you bought okay so we're going to buy five because we have five of these so we're going to buy five of these of these nazarene's thick chain solvent one two three four five notice that they don't stack and you want to make sure you don't buy more than you need all right boom so now we've got our tempers We've got our chain links. We've converted our bot armor drops into templates, these reworked Muramite templates. Now we're ready to make the armor. So we're going to origin back to the plane of knowledge. So while we're doing this, there's a forge that I like to go to in the building where all the Laz NPCs are. And so that is where we're going to be heading to smith our Muramite plate. So I always wait until everything loads. And then we're just going to run on over to the forge. And yes, there's forges other places. But we're just going to run over this way. So 
So I'm gonna hop in here. This is Maxia who sells the lovely Rubray's Bruffing Stick. And here's my forge. All right, let's get to work. So we're gonna click the forge. All right, notice the forge opens. I'm gonna click on Experiment. And it gives me the old school combined box. So now all we gotta do is we need to make our tempers first. So we're gonna combine one chain link, one temper. Boom. We get infused Muramite chains. So we're gonna go ahead and combine all of our chain links and make them infused. And should have just trickled down into, here they are. Doing one at a time. Remember, you can use the control key to pick up, you know, one of a stack at a time to save you a little bit of time. All right. So now I have five infused Muramite chain. Okay. So now all we have to do is put each armor piece in with one of these. If you're smithing chest armor or legs, remember you'll need two of these infused Muramite chain pieces. Um, which means you, you have to combine two of the chain links and two of the tempers, right? So you need two of these. Then you click combine. Now we have our sleeves. We can equip our sleeves. Boom. So I just go ahead and automatically equip them. And we're going to do the same for the rest of these pieces. Just slowly replacing our old and busted armor. And I'll show you the stats on each of these when we're done to show you how good of an upgrade it is. All right. These are attunable. Now I'll show you everything here. Boots of Fury. Van Braces of Fury. Gauntlets of Fury. And the Bracer of Fury. And the Helm of Fury. Yep, only lets me open a certain amount at once. But I'll show you the Helm. So these are very, very good upgrades for your character. Um, Definitely with the shielding and the additional stats. I definitely recommend if you're looking for a good first step and you can't find the appropriate um, tax V gear and Omens of War gear on the bazaar or you can't afford it, uh, the Muramite gear is guaranteed. There is people that always have pieces up and they're a great upgrade, especially to get your dudes from 65 to 70 and to really grind out their first couple thousand AA um, to really start getting your your team ready to start taking on uh, content, getting anguish keyed and stuff. So anyway, hopefully you've learned something about uh, smithing your own Miramite. So get out there, grind, and, and happy smithing. If you like the content, if you found this helpful, please like or subscribe. Very much appreciate it. Take care. Have a train-free day.